Hi, everybody. So um, this video deals with pull-up, pull-down resistor calculations. So we're talking pull, up, or down resistor calculations. Um, and the, um, the gate that I'm using as an example here is an AND gate. So it is uh, an SN74LS08. So that's the um, spec sheet that I'm referring to. And this means um, the manufacturer is Texas Instruments. This means it's a uh, civilian grade. The LS means it's from the low power shock key family. And the 08 is the AND gate. Okay, so when you see me referring to, to two values here before IIH equal to 20 microamps and IIL equal to minus 0 0.4 milliamps, um, that's, a, that's the spec sheet that I'm getting them from, okay, and the part number that, that I'm using. So I'll talk about pull-up resistors first. Remember that um, the pull-up resistor we are using so that our switch here um, does not create a, a floating input at our gate when the switch is open. So here's our AND gate with one input there connected. Um, and the way I've drawn it now, when that switch opens, um, this gate input is left floating. But what I'm gonna do is tie it to five volts with this pull-up resistor R. Okay, um, and the key thing there is that, you know, when that switch is open, there is this voltage V in at the input to the gate, and we have to make sure that that voltage is um, still a value that will be considered high uh, by the chip, right? So um, there, when this switch is open and this five volts is powered through the resistor, um, there is a current that is actually getting sunk through, through the chip because remember the chip has its own um, powering ground, right? So there's this current here and this current um, is the IIH, so the input current for a high input and it is, it is 20 uh, microamps, okay? So equal to, to 20 microamps. Um, so we can calculate that Vn. Vn is going to be the five volts minus this IIH times R. And in this case, um, we're solving for R. We're trying to see, okay, well, what value should I make this resistor? Um, so that I still have a high input to the chip. Now the minimum high input to the chip is two volts. So I'm gonna use two volts for Vn and that is going to give us an absolute maximum that we can make this, this resistance. Um, and this IIH right here is this, this 20 milliamps. Um, so when I crunch the math on that, I get R is equal to 150 kilo, kilo ohms. And remember this is max, a max value that we want. Um, and this gives Vn equal to two volts. Now, um, even though two volts is, is considered high, it makes more sense to pick um, a resistor that's a little bit smaller so that, you know, the voltage is well into the, the range of what's considered high. So I'm going to pick um, R equal to 10 kilo ohms. And then if I calculate Vn, it's going to be 5 volts minus 20 microamps times 10 kilo ohms, uh, which is 4.8 volts. 
and that is definitely okay, right? That's considered a high voltage. So we've added this pull-up resistor to um, keep from having a floating input when the switch is open and to keep from shorting the power supply when the switch is ground, if we didn't have that resistor. Um, and we've sized it such that when the switch is open, we still have a high enough voltage at that V in to be considered high. The other way we could have arranged it is with a pull down resistor. So pull down resistor, um, the switch is going to the gate like that and this end of the switch is actually connected to five volts and the gate side of the switch is now connected through a resistor to ground. So now when the switch is open, the chip is getting a low input um, and the current through this resistor is now actually coming out of the chip and getting grounded um, like this. And this current is IIL, which is equal to 0 0.4 milliamps. In the spec sheet, they said minus 0 0.4 milliamps, um, and that negative was just to indicate that that current is leaving the chip. So we still have uh, a V in here um, at the, the input to the chip. And when the switch is open, in this case, we want V in to be small enough that the input is still considered um, a low input. So um, the equation in this case, V in, is actually just equal to the drop across this resistor. So this is going to be IIL times R. And the maximum that V in could be and still be considered um, a high, uh, sorry, the maximum it could be and still be considered a low input voltage is 0 0.8 volts. And um, IIL is 0 0.4 milliamps. So I'm going to solve for R and I'm going to get R equals two kilo ohms. Now again, this is a max. And this gives, um, gives V in equal to 0 0.8 volts, but that's right on the limit, right? So it's better if I pick a smaller resistance um, so that I'm more in the middle of the range between what, you know, what is considered low. So I'm gonna pick, um, I'm gonna pick R equal to one kilo ohm. And in that case, I'm going to find that uh, V in is equal to one kilo ohm times 0 0.4 milliamps, which equals 0 0.4 volts. And that's definitely uh, okay. It's well within, um, it's in the, you know, the very middle of that range of what is considered a low input voltage.